Hey everyone, this is Ashley here, and you can see I have a game in the background because I'm exploring, but that doesn't really matter. We are here for my guide on how to get Steam to work with Smite. And here we have my forum post. This below here is just code, so it doesn't really matter. Now, I'm not gonna be reading this, but here is the guide, and you can find it on the official Smite forums and it doesn't really matter. So, there are steps by steps. Here is the address if you wanna find it. That doesn't matter much. So, this is the folder we want to care about. It's the high-res folder. The one that has Smite in it. I do believe that this is what launches Smite, but this is an old shortcut and doesn't work anymore and you have to use the desktop shortcut one, which is this. The weird thing, it doesn't have an icon. And, uh, it used to have one, but after I reinstalled a few things, it just didn't. So, whatever. So, for this, you want to move the Smite shortcut into the folder it's from. Now, if it's on your desktop, you can right-click it, and you can go to Open File Location, which will take you to the Smite folder and show you what program it's shortcutting to. And then you just drag the Smite shortcut in here. Same with this Steam Overlay.vbs. This one also has to be inside this very folder. And here is all, all the code and how it works and blah 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 blah. Hi-Res don't like Steam, they have already made a video on that, but uh, they released a killer that made my old method not work. And I also found out that if I had smite.launcher smite.exe up here, it didn't work for me. So I just put smite instead and it worked. So I had to redo a tiny bit of the script or whatever it is, but now it works. And that's great. And that's all we have to do in this folder, really. So if we go into Steam, here is Smite that I have added to Steam. How we do this, we go to Add Game, Add a non-Steam game. We go through the list, hopefully if we go on S, Smite should pop up and here it is. But I've already done that. And then it appears in the library on the list here. So we can right click, go to Properties, name it whatever you want. It's very important that it starts in this. And this these quotations are necessary. Now it sucks that NB is on the right here because I can't see everything in the in the friggin' box. But whatever. We can see it ends with Steam Overlay.vbs and it ends with quotes. I'm not sure if the dot VBS and dot exe is needed on in this target area but uh, it might be I really don't know I'm just using them because it works and that's it this is how you get Steam to work with Smite and Smite to work with Steam and if you want to you can create a desktop shortcut using this and you can launch it from your desktop or you can right click here and you can launch Smite from here now, my smite is in full screen, so I'm gonna black out, but let's try anyway. We will allow that. I got a pop-up that I allowed, which doesn't really matter. And there are actually two of these black boxes. One of them just might minimize when you go, go to click play. I don't really know. Now, usually what I do personally is I hit the play button here then I manually close these and then the game launches and I have a steam overlay I don't know if you can close them before you hit play I don't know if you can I don't know if I can give you errors closing them too soon I know Dean used a version of this before for a different game and it didn't work and it came down to him closing the black boxes too soon then again he has a slightly slower PC than me that is also years older than my current PC 
So maybe it has to do with his hardware. I don't know. But anyway, that was my very short guide on how to get Steam and Smite to work together, because high res have a Steam killer installed that makes Steam not work with Smite. So you have to do some custom scripts to, to actually get it to work. And I still have Shadowplay working with Smite, so that's pretty neat. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Feel free to subscribe for more guides and gameplay videos, and mostly vlogs, but you don't have to. And if you leave a like or dislike and a comment, I would really appreciate it. So thank you, hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.